take your components from stage four and first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to take the cap off of the main shock unit now take the shaft and notice in which direction that goes in and then place that in there as such pull it all the way through okay then take your shaft connect on the end now one thing that I've noticed and that is that if you hold that tight and just give that a bit of a turn you can use pliers but what I would suggest is that you use pliers which are smooth nosed or at least of an aluminium type so it doesn't damage the shaft just put that on there but don't tighten it all the way down okay? because um, you're going to need to adjust that later on in the series now you have a choice here because there's a change in a later issue where there's a spacer that goes in which means that you're going to have to take the oil out that you put into the shock absorber so imagine we've put the oil in which is quite simple from the container that you're given and the oil that you're given and once you've put the oil in there it's just a case of moving the shock absorber up and down as you can see like that to remove any bubbles okay so looking at the pictures you can see that that's the process take the assembly once the oil is settled and all the air bubbles are out and take your diaphragm notice the orientation so that it sits downwards and put that on top now with the collar that we found earlier take your other shaft connector and put that in there like so place that over the top and then tighten that up don't over tighten it just enough for it to create the seal so that you've now got your shock absorber like so next stage is to take the spring place the spring over the shaft and then take your connector and as you notice that just slides in to that position there and there you have it, there's your shock absorber